Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at a new feature called Domain Name Autocomplete. And this is available on Chromebooks, uh, and it's a setting in the Admin Console. And basically what it says here is it's going to enable you to choose a domain name to present to users on their sign-in page. This makes it much easier for students uh, or anyone that's logging to a Chromebook to uh, just basically type in their username, their, their domain. And especially if you have a really long domain, it's going to already be there. So all they need to do is type in username, and they're good to go. So if we take a look at, at the uh, Admin Console here, we can take a look and find this under Chrome Management, Device Settings, and you can do this by OUs. So if I pick an OU such as, let's say, our students, uh, or even all students here, I can scroll down and it says here, Domain Name Autocomplete at Sign-In, Used Domain Name. So when I first got here, it said No Policy Set. So we made it so that's used. Use the domain name set below for autocomplete, and you just enter your domain name. So you can have different domain names for different OUs if that's uh, something you need to do, or you can turn this on for maybe students, but leave uh, faculty and staff uh, the ability to not autocomplete so that you could log into different domains if you wanted to. Save changes, and basically what we see is on the Chromebook. All right, so I'm going to show you here. Uh, we see a uh, new signing screen that's part of, I think, uh, version 44. But then on that signing screen, you can see that the uh, domain name is already there. And all I have to do is type in the username. Whereas on this other Chromebook that was in a different OU that does not have uh, that domain autocomplete, it's just a full blank um, entry box. Now, again, this doesn't affect the ability whether you, can, you want to restrict your sign-in. I can still restrict to certain domains or one domain. All this does is it pre-populates it if uh, it makes sense for you to do that. So, again, cool new feature, autocomplete domain name at sign-in, uh, accessible via the admin council, also uh, able to define different uh, domains based on the OU. So, there you go.